Hello, people that in the house out there, and today we're talking about Gavin, D- Gavin Duffy, who's going for president of Ireland, uh, hope maybe this year, that where he is going, it's confirmed that he's going, but will he get elected, that's the thing. So we're just going to talk a few minutes about this. So uh, so as everybody probably knows, uh, who's from Ireland, that there is three dragons going for president, uh, which is very, very unusual, I have to say. The first time I heard it, I was like, what? Uh, so Gavin Duffy is a businessman. He's a he has a he's a millionaire. He's a billionaire, to be honest. Uh, he, so he's from Cadell. He's fifty eight years old, uh, which is which is decent. It, it, he's not pensioned. He's not over him like Michael D. Higgins. So uh, you know he's decent, decent age. You know, so he's full as he said he's full of energy. The only thing I really I really don't really have much to say about Gavin Duffy. I say you know he's good with his mathematics. Like he's good with money. I say he's good with money and he's good at counting his money and he's good. He's not gonna there be no money how to unaccounted for. That's the word I'm using. Like to be no money like say he, he always have the right amount of money. I say he'd be that type of force into the point. You know what I'm saying? He'd do everything to the point. You know what I'm saying? Any law I think he's enforced it to the point. You know what I'm saying? Like to the very end of it. That's what I mean by that. And to to the like he would not really like, it's hard to know. I don't really know really much, but it's very hard to get a signal out of him when he's talking and all that. It's very hard to know what he's trying to do. Like, it's very, it's easy enough to know what he's trying to do in business. I can obviously tell what he's trying to do. He's trying to show people that are more better with money than you. That's really what the signal when he's doing business. But it's different when he's going for the press Dutch debate. Because, like, I seen him in the two debates and I didn't know what to think of him, honestly. Like, it was mixed feelings. You know, Mike De Hickers was kind of nervous and all that, and he didn't know what to do because he didn't do anything for seven years, so he didn't know anything. It's like, Gavin Duffy here, I really just don't know. I Yeah, like, the one thing I remember him saying was, I think seven years is long enough for anybody in a job. Like, I don't take for any job. Like, if you're going to work in the school, seven years wouldn't be. If you're just 70, if you're just getting out of college, you know what I'm saying? But I know what he's saying about... When he's pressed, and like seven years is enough. Like, um, like what well, if you don't accomplish things in seven years? I know in one year, it's hard enough. When you're just in your first year in office, it's hard. Like you have to get used to this and that, you know. But if you go for a second year, unless you're young, like Mary McAleese was very young when well, she wasn't very young. She wasn't like fourteen or fifteen years old. But uh, if she, if you're young, like in your, if you're in your thirties or forties, going for president and you're. You're just going on 40 and you're going for another term in office. That's all right. And if you're doing well, if the country, the people like you and you're not hated by the country, like, I'd see no problem in it. But if you're 66 and you should be retired, if you're 77 and you should be retired a long time ago, 10 years beforehand, like, it's different for everybody else. But uh, he's 58, so he's young enough, as I said, not pension age. And I think he only will stand for one term anyway if he is elected. It's a very slim chance, but... Uh, Maybe, you never know. Things change overnight. Like, uh, he has no... Like, uh, this was asked on OT Radio 1 on the first uh, debate. Uh, he was asked, does he have any ongoing business going on in his group? And he said no, and the same would be the case in the West, uh, the Dragons. Uh, so I think he's just focusing formally on the presidential election, which I think is a very good thing. Especially, because I never really heard of Gavin Duffy that much when I... Uh, you know, on and off. I heard him a bit on Dragon's Den. I watched a bit of Dragon's Den when I was younger. I didn't watch much of it. I wasn't that really fond of it. But honestly, uh, I watched bits of it, but I knew his name. You know what I'm saying? But I knew Sean Gallagher and I knew Mike D. Higgins and all that because they were in the doll and all that and I knew about them. But not Sean Gallagher wasn't, but he was from my, he's from my hometown, so I would have knew him. Like, I spoke to him on one occasion when I was growing up. And Joe Freeman, I would have knew only... Recently, I didn't really know until she found a paid house. That's la- that's when I knew about her. When she found a paid house, then I knew about her. But apart from that, I never knew before of her. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Peter Casey, I knew about him too, but, uh, you know, in the same thing. But I think Gavin Duffy just is good with money. That's all I take. That's really all I take. I think he'd be good with money, and I think he'd be good to the point. You know, they do everything to the point. And, um... Uh, I think he always lets people speak and then he is speak. Like, he wants to hear what people has to say first before he says something. Like, he's not like Peter Casey. Peter Casey, we'll talk about Peter Casey tomorrow. Like, Peter Casey says things before he takes. Uh, I think Gavin Duffy would take before he says anything. 
like he won't be caught out in anything, you know what I'm saying? Like Michael Higgins caught himself out and take on well, loads of things. Uh, so yeah, that's all we had to say about Gavin Dunphy. Thank you for watching. I know there's not a lot to say. There's not really a lot to say about him. I don't really know what to think of him. That's my own opinion. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if you're going to vote for Gavin Duffy. I really don't know. They say there's only six or seven seven percent going to vote for him. Uh, I hope there's going to be at least a good few votes for him because it'd be very shameful if it's just going to go and not get voted at all. Like uh, some of if anybody's going for person, I just like to, to even get few votes. That'd be. Few, three or four thousand at least. I remember what. I don't know what election it was. There was only some. They only got five thousand votes. Like putting in the money, you have to put in for this. Like, uh, I would take. Like the only reason why I'm doing this video is to make people's minds up. Like anyway, take a watch and subscribe for more and bye.